Well, good day, flatties and globe defenders. It's critical thing from down under. And yesterday on the bus on the way to work, I came across another great piece of evidence that supports the globe. And it's a total disaster for flat earth. So let's just take a look now and see what it was. Well, it's just before sunrise and I'm traveling on the bus uh, from, I'm at Clontarf Beach, just about to cross the Ted Smout Memorial Bridge. And I see the sunset in this kind of direction. Now you'll see Woody Point there on the left. So this is south of east. Now how do you work that out on a flat earth? I don't know. That's The sun cannot be in that direction, south of east. But anyway, let's uh, see what I saw here. So some crepuscular rays coming from the sun that has not yet risen. It's a wonderful sight and uh, not so common. And you can see the, the buildings at Woody Point down there and the sun is clearly to the right of that. So this is an impossible direction if the earth would be flat. So this is evidence for the globe just by itself, the direction of the sun. But that's not all. Now let's have a look at the time here, which is February the 20th, 5.21 a.m. And the sunrise on this particular day is at 5.34. Now I've drawn some lines here. This is not entirely accurate, but it uh, gives you a, a good idea. You can see the crescent moon right up the top. I'm inside the bus and I've drawn some lines to where these <coughs> rays disappear off into the distance and you can see that it is actually below the horizon. So if the sun were in fact above the flat earth, how can the sun get below the horizon? You know, these shadows here, they never lie, according to P-Brain. And the shadow knows the shadow doesn't lie. So we've got these rays coming out. You trace them back to a sun that's below the horizon. Now, I don't care how far away your sun is on your flat earth, but it can never be below the horizon. So if you want to work out any flatty who can tell me how that can happen and, uh, because that's just impossible. You can't even take a distance and say, well, it sinks that far that it's below the horizon. Parallel lines never meet, remember? So there's a big problem, big disaster for you, flat earthers, right there. So here's the, the, the sunrise at 5.34. So on a globe, we expect the sun to be below the horizon at 5.21. Everything perfectly normal for the globe. But a complete disaster for the flat earth and so I go and point my camera out the other window where's the bus is crossing the bridge and this is facing west and luckily you can still see the crepuscular rays in this case they're called anti crepuscular rays because they're opposite the sunrise and you can see also I put some lines in and they converge to a point a little bit above the horizon which is sort of what is expected now it's very difficult to draw these lines but I think I've got it pretty right there and so on flat earth how can this be on flat earth now if the sun to be below the horizon on one side and then these lines converge to above on the other now you could probably say that it's far away uh, so even so even if the anti-solar point was there and you're saying on a flat earth that's perfectly normal just tell me how far away the sun is and how high it is in order to get that angle and then I'll be happy for the, I'll be happy with that if you can work it out work out how that's possible on a flat earth but really uh, this is great evidence for the globe. Uh, sorry, Flat Earthers, 
Uh, I know most of you will ignore this because it's too hard or you don't understand it, but there you go, Earth can't be flat because of this. The sun is, as we say, rising, but that's because it's simply coming closer to us on this level, stationary Earth. The sun is, as we say, rising, but that's because it's simply coming closer to us on this level, stationary Earth. Thank you.